Hello guys, welcome to another GTA Online solo money glitch video. So today we're gonna do this most easiest solo money glitch, okay? So for this solo money glitch, you gotta do is make sure you have the car you want to duplicate inside a nightclub garage, okay? Inside a different nightclub garage and make sure the garage is totally full as you guys can see my garage is totally full and i want to duplicate this lg retro custom you don't need custom plate for this glitch you know because the plates will automatically change but i still have it i don't know okay you don't need custom plates okay because the plates will automatically change and now you gotta store few lg rh8 inside another garage in the nightclub okay i have like few lg rh8 stored inside like, my level 3 garage Now you gotta do is get inside any of the LGRD sheet. Make sure the car you want to duplicate and the LGRD sheet are in different garage. Okay. The car you want to duplicate the LG Retro Custom for me it's in a different garage and the LGRD sheet is in a different garage. The free LGRD sheet. Okay. And now you gotta do is drive the LGRD sheet out. Make sure your spawn location. Hold up. Make sure your spawn location is last location, okay? Now you gotta do is press on options, go to online, go to creator. Make sure you have an empty personal vehicle storage inside the MOC. Alright, now you gotta do is press options again. Go to online, go to play GT online, go to invite only session. By the way guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, of course the bell notification button beside the subscribe button to stay updated to my GT online videos and GT online money glitch videos, okay? Alright, now make sure you have the car in front of you, okay? If it didn't spawn in front of you, you gotta do is open up the interaction menu, then click on mobile operation center, no, sorry, open up the interaction menu, click on vehicles, request personal vehicle, okay? If you don't have the car in front of you, request personal vehicle, okay? Now you gotta do is request to MOC, Make sure you are outside of the car when you request your MOC because you go inside of the car you can't request your MOC. Alright, now get inside of the car and drive it to your MOC. Make sure you have an empty personal vehicle still inside of your MOC. Press right on the D-pad when you get to the blue circle and you can store your car. Okay, now get now get back inside the car. Drive it outside. Sorry. Now go to options and mark up the nightclub. Location. If you can't figure out the location, you know. And now, you gotta do is replace the car you want to duplicate with this car, okay? Go to the garage, select the garage where you have the car you want to duplicate, okay? Now, accept this alert. I told you, make the garage full where you have the car you want to duplicate, okay? Make the garage totally full with vehicles, okay? Alright, now you gotta do is replace and you will see nothing has happened, the car is still there, the car is still there. Now get inside the car you wanted to duplicate and see I have a custom plate but you don't literally need a custom plate, okay? Because the plates will automatically change when you drive out, okay? Now drive this car out. And now, 
the magic is here the plate changed okay now you can also store it inside the MOC okay and you can also store it inside the office garage okay for storing inside the MOC you gotta do is just go inside the MOC and store it nothing okay and if you want to store it inside the office garage I'm gonna show you the method right now I'm gonna show it inside the office garage come on this mother freaking traffic Make sure you have an empty slot inside the office garage. Make sure you have empty slots inside the office garage. And make sure you have a custom mod shop inside the office garage. I have all this office garage and all this custom mod shop and this stuffs. You gotta do is store it just inside the mobile operation center. Nothing. Okay, but I'm gonna store it inside the office garage. I'm gonna show you the method to store it inside the office garage. Make sure your garage is not full. Okay. Make sure you have a custom mod shop inside the office garage. It's your wish. You can also store it inside the MOC. It doesn't matter at all. Because you know some people don't have the office garage. You know. Alright. Now you got to do is get back in the car. Press right on the D-pad. Now you gotta do is change anything on the car. I will change the plate color. Alright. Now exit to office garage 3. And you successfully duplicated the car. That's it, man. That's it. It's so easy. Alright guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, of course the bell notification button to stay updated to my GTA Online videos and money glitch videos, okay? Alright, bye guys, have a good day.